Hi, and welcome to this SharePoint Search Quick Tip sponsored by Surfray. Please visit us at www.surfray.com for more quick tips. Today's quick tip is how to change the title of your search results in your first out of the box SharePoint search results web part and then out of, in your Ontolica search result web parts for those of you who are using Ontolica. I'll show you what the differences are there. Um, changing the search results title is not that difficult, but you do need to get into XSLT in both cases to do it. So let's just have a look. I'll jump over to my site here. Now, use case is that um, I have a bunch of documents and maybe some of them don't have good titles and I want to change that to a different kind of title. Generally the titles that SharePoint uses are pretty good because it uses a hit highlighted summary title that it generates if there's no title there. Um, if there is a title then <clears throat> it'll put a title in there. So the titles are generally pretty good. But there are cases where you may want to change that title. I have requests from customers who say, we always want to see the file name because the file name has all the information we need about what it is, about what that um, document means. For example, there could be IDs in your title or in your file name that you don't have in the title. Oftentimes, documents are not well uh, authored and there's no title or the title is really bad it doesn't mean anything so you might want to put that in you also may have a custom title built into a column in SharePoint you want to put those into that title so what do you have to do well the first and most important thing is to make sure whatever value that you want as a title is set in your uh, managed metadata properties so we've got to get to the search service application go to metadata properties and find the the property that you actually want to use as a title because that property has to be crawled it has to be mapped as a metadata property in order to make it available in the search result uh, search search center in order to um, to display it of course you can't display it if it's not available in the index so there's a lot of crawled properties that SharePoint has and one of your um, columns may be that crawled property. For me today, I'm going to use a file name. Just use that example that came from my customers that I just want to get the file name out. And we notice it's already mapped here. And it's mapped to a what's called basic 10, which is a value that is a physical value of the document that uh, SharePoint picks up. So we don't have to worry about that one. But you may have a different uh, value, maybe a SharePoint property like this is which is a column custom column in a SharePoint uh, list and or library and you want to use that so you have to make sure you map that next step is to get over to your search results page so here I've got a search result page that I've already searched for this document I can see this title is not very good I would rather have this title here so I'm going to edit this page because we need to get into the XSL of the core search results web part because that's what's displaying the results there is the core search results web part so we click edit we want to edit this web part here our edit panel is going to appear on the top right so we'll get up there and find display properties now by default we're using location visualization which is basically use the default XSL template so we'll uncheck that and there are two areas where we need to edit. The first one is the fetch properties. Now we have to tell um, SharePoint that we want to fetch that property uh, that we have created. In my, my case here, this is going to be file name is the property. So I've already got the properties here. And you can see there's a bunch of stuff that SharePoint is actually um, bringing back out of the box. The date the picture was taken, picture height, a bunch of default properties that are being fetched. Ones that the SharePoint search site uses out of the box. And you can see the hit highlighted properties, which is actually a collection of properties, is being brought back here as well. And that's what out of the box is being used. So I've added a new one here called uh, file name. So I'll just uh, select that and I because I want my file name to be retrieved it's not out of the box so you have to add it if you want it to be there so we'll put that one here and then we have to edit the XSL so this is a little more complicated we'll take this uh, select the whole thing and then you can copy it and paste it over here in a notepad like I have done 
So there's quite a lot of XSLT going on here, and uh, you probably don't want to get into all of it, but we'll find the title part first and show you exactly how that's laid out. There are a number of titles here, and they do different jobs by checking what's available in the, uh, the properties that come back in SharePoint and then displaying whatever the right title is. So you can see here is the actual search title 3 is the title that we're getting up. And it does some checks here. First, it checks to see if there is the highlighted title available, and if not, then it gives you another title. And uh, there are some other conditions here. And you can see that if the uh, title is available, it would it will display it. Now, we have this property that we mapped called file name, or it was already mapped called file name that we want to put out. So the easiest thing to do is just kind of in a hacky way, type in that uh, file name should be the property that is displayed here. Uh, of course, what we're doing here really is saying check if hit highlight title uh, uh, is available and if it's not then put in file name which is a bit odd so you probably want to change that logic and actually check if there's a file name or check if there's a hit highlight title you may actually want what you may want to do is to remove the file name and if there is no hit highlighted title put in file name here but let's just for the sake of this uh, demonstration uh, put in file name here so you can see that it comes up. So we'll select this all again and copy it and then go back to our search center and in our XSL editor place in that uh, saved XSL. So if we save this we sh and hit OK we should now get the uh, titles back. OK so let's do that I hit OK here. We'll stop editing. And now our file names come back instead of the titles for those documents. So that's how you do it in out of the box search. It's a little more complicated than I showed you here, but this should give you a foundation to see where to look in the Excel and, and how to do that. So, and if you just want file names out, you can just follow these, these uh, steps. So now let's look at uh, Ontolica, because Ontolica is a little bit different the way that, that, that we've, we've set it up to do this. So let's look at the Ontolica Search Center and we'll do a similar search. Just choose Eagle. Do a search for Eagle and we get back our, some of our content here. And we want to change this basic title here. Now, Ontolica allows you to put out a lot of different properties into this uh, fields here but so far as the title goes we will want to go to site settings and choose the Ontolica styles which is under the galleries section in this search uh, Ontolica styles folder you can see the XSL and the CSS for all of the web parts that Ontolica uses which is really cool because it expands the functionality of what you can do so we'll look in the search result and we see there's a default one so we want to uh, either edit this or what I would recommend is to save a copy of it and then edit the copy and then upload a new one and I'll show you how to do that so we've got our default XSL here which I've saved to my desktop and you can see that it's not quite as complicated as the out-of-the-box one but it works in a very similar way in the middle here we've got our HH title as our column ID that we are going to use and what we want to do is we actually want to change this value here to um, be the file name property that we are looking for so let's do that okay so we're gonna go ahead and change this uh, HH title uh, value that was in this uh, column here to file name and uh, this actually column value is from XML in the that Ontolica puts out. So we have to make sure that this is the right or the right spelling and that we have the right uh, cases and things like that with that. But I know that this is correct, so I'll, I'll save it like that. So then we save this uh, document. We'll call it default new title. So just save it to our desktop. Sure. We'll go back to the site here and now 
what we want to do is we want to go to our uh, library and upload that new default new title. I've already got it uploaded here, but it's easy to do. You just click upload and upload it back in the gallery. The reason why we would want to do this is that we don't want to overwrite the default one. We can actually store as many different XSLTs as we want here so we can toggle between them. So how do you toggle between that one and the new one? Well, we go back to our result page and we edit the page. On the page, you see there's a new menu item here that comes with Ontolica. And this is configure this search result web part. And we can actually choose any different uh, XSLT that we have here. And there are a bunch of default ones for you to look at. You can see how they work and what they do. So this is our new one here. We don't have a preview of it, but that's okay. Um, there's also one called XML, which I'll just want to show you briefly because if we use the XML one, it'll just put the XML out of what Ontolic is actually returning. And that can help you to get an idea of the different types of values that you can use in that the um, XSLT there. So there are a bunch that are available. If you want to add more, you can, of course. So here is the column part here. And you can call the column in the column ID, and we see my file name one is here, and it has a capital F. There's a lot of stuff that's put out, like content type and stuff by um, uh, Ontolica automatically. So you can just replace the fields that you want with the fields of the values that are already here. You can, of course, add custom properties and then add those new values into those, but you have to call the property instead of column. We won't get into that, but I'll go back here and then I'll add my new uh, XSLT to the web part. And we'll see if it worked. The reason why we've done it this way is we think it's a little bit more elegant, a little bit easier to, to manage uh, do multiple XSLT files um, if you do it this way. And also you can edit them on your desktop and not have to worry about that little, work with that little box that comes with the out of the box SharePoint uh, XSLTs. Of course, you can uh, upload them to different sites and do like a, uh, the same settings on all sorts of different sites instead of having to go into each one and change the XSLT in that little box on the web part. So here we can see we now have our file names as the titles in Ontolica. Okay, so this was my SharePoint quick tip for today, changing the titles of your search results in both out-of-the-box SharePoint and Ontolica. Thanks for watching.